I've been having such a great time unboxing and reviewing Super Mario toys that I figured, why stop? I have more Super Mario toys like these. The 2017 Super Mario toys from McDonald's Happy Meals. I've unboxed several retro McDonald's Happy Meal toys. And I'm in the process of still reviewing the Snow White Happy Meal toys. One thing I've noticed is that they really cheaped out on the Happy Meal boxes. Before, the boxes had all kinds of art, all kinds of quizzes, little things to read. Plus, the boxes became little playsets. Throughout the years, the boxes stopped being little playsets and they just had little questions and little things to read. Now, it just has a front, that, the little smiley face, and it's basically a commercial for other things. But you and I are not here for the box. We're here for the action figures inside. They released eight figures in all. We're gonna take one by one out of the box and review them. Let's see what's up first. And it's number eight, Koopa Shell. And it comes with instructions inside. Let's tear into it. Here are the instructions. It's literally just pictures. And you roll him back and he goes. But before we do that, let's smell it. Oh, unfortunately, it doesn't smell like anything. But that's not going to stop any fun. Whee! Taking a look at the red shell all the way around, it looks pretty nice. It looks like a shell. The sculpting is pretty cute. It looks very cartoonish. And you see all these little black spots? That's where the turtle is supposed to stick his head, his arms, his legs, and his little tail out. And who is up next? It's Princess Peach, number seven. She also comes with instructions inside. Let's take a look at it. And what do her instructions say? Nothing. All right, so it's got one little wheel right there. It seems like basically just drag her along. Oh, and she spins around. Hi, hi. She's got a lenticular background that kind of moves around, you see? Look at that, the mushroom, as it disappears and then appears. See what else? The coins move. Anything else? Oh, there's a piranha plant back there. Watch out! Unfortunately, you can't take her off just to play with her, just to have her around. The sculpting is really nice. That's the only thing though. I, I wish she was an actual action figure and you could take her out. I guess maybe if you break her out, but I'm afraid to damage her in any way. So having her pose like this, just standing around, I guess it'll be nice. I'd rather have an action figure. The sculpting is nice though. Like, look at her face. It's painted very nice. Her little crown, her dress. And who's next? It's Bowser! And he is number six. He also comes with instructions. Oh, and it looks like he comes with a couple of missiles in there. All right, let's take a look. Whoa, and he's harder to get out as well. Come on. Bowser, let's get out. And the instructions are... One, put the mail so in. Two, press something in his butt. Three, he spits it out. There he is. He looks cool. 
Look at that. He actually looks real cool. Just letting him sit there like this. He will look nice. But we need to try out that feature. Oh! And if you lose one, you got another. Let's test it out on somebody. Here's one of the Jack's action figures that I've been unboxing and having fun with. Can he take the fireball? Oh, he can't. This is by far the most fun figure. Because the shell was just a shell. Princess Peach, she's not really an action figure. This, although he doesn't have any articulation. That is a lot of fun. And it looks so much like Bowser. This is a great scope. And the spikes aren't too pointy that they're going to hurt you. Unless maybe if you sit on it. And who is number five? Oh, it's Invisible Mario. He also comes with instructions. There's some batteries in there. Let's take a look at them. Well, oh, look at this. McPlay, ask a parent to download the free McPlay app. No, thank you. The instructions are to turn on the little switch here. So, but let's take a look at Mario first before we turn him on because I'm expecting this to look really cool. Well, it looks cool now. The scope is really nice. But I think it's going to be a lot cooler once we flip that switch. This is supposed to be a invisible Mario. So, um, sadly, he has no articulation. But let's see what happens when we flip that switch. Oh, look at that. That is nice. And I think it might look better if we turn off these lights. That looks so cool. Wow. And for it being a small little light inside, it's pretty powerful. This is really nice. And it looks like the speed of the twinkling. It's slowing down. And it's probably going to speed up right now. It reminds me of when Mario gets the star and starts running around. We got Peach. We've got Bowser. We got Mario. Are we gonna get a Luigi next? No, number four is One Up Mushroom. He comes with instructions inside. Let's take him out. This one's also hard to open up. And this guy, another guy to flip the switch. What does he do? Uh, I don't know what those little lines mean. Hopefully he doesn't explode. Before we find out whether he explodes or not by flipping that switch, let's take a look all the way around. And yes, he looks like a one-up mushroom. Okay, he didn't explode. Thank God. But there's a button there. Let's press it. It didn't do anything. Huh. What, what was that? Oh! <laughs> Sounds like the batteries are having a little bit of trouble though. But they have been sealed for the last seven years. I'm glad they still works. And who will be number three? Finally, it's a Luigi number three. Luigi launcher. This looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. All right. This guy looks like an action figure. Let's smell them. Oh, look at that. It comes with an extra covering. It smells a little, a little bit like a brand new toy, which is nice. But let's read the instructions. One, put them in. Two, press that button on the back of the pipe. 
and three, watch him go. Are you ready, Luigi? Sure, why not? Yeah, that's fun. He comes with wheels underneath to help him keep rolling. And look at his face. It looks just like Luigi. This is cool. Yeah, this, although there's no articulation at the arms or the head, just the little feature, that's cool. Let's see what happens. Whoa, he jumped out. That's cool. That's cool. All right, he's my new favorite. And number two, it's Yoshi. All right, this looks really cute. Let's take him out. All right. Instructions are to push his shell back here, and I guess his tongue sticks out. Let's see. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Let's smell him. And he doesn't smell like anything, but this does look so much like Yoshi, except for those holes for the screws on him. This looks really nice. It's kind of hollow plastic. Doesn't weigh that much, which is nice. And this whole action doesn't feel, it doesn't feel cheap. It feels like it's gonna last. You could keep pressing on that shell and I don't think it's gonna break. There is a stress mark right there about to break. Last but not least, number one. It's Mario! All right. And it says, it's jumping Mario. Well, let's see how he jumps. We flip the switch and it's not going to explode. It looks like he might do a sound. There's a little speaker right there. Before we flip the switch, let's smell him. Ah, oh, he doesn't smell like anything. But it looks just like Mario this looks real cool look at those eyes look at that mustache that's great man this is very very vibrant the colors are amazing but unfortunately he's not an action figure there's no articulation anywhere around and what's he riding I don't know I guess it's just supposed to be representing air because he's jumping let's flip that switch whoa what was that that's cool And as much as I want to love all the figures, the ones in the back, they're okay. This one's alright, it's just he's hollow. That one doesn't do much. This one, okay, he kind of glows in the dark if you turn on the button, but he doesn't do anything. She obviously doesn't do much. This guy blows fire, this guy rolls around, this guy gets blown out of a pipe, and then there's Mario. How can you not love him? Now, if you lived in Europe, you didn't get this Mario or the 1-Up Mushroom. Instead, you got a different Mario sitting on a chair that waved his hand and these blocks. That's it. I'm glad to be an American. Thank you for joining me on this retro review of the 2017 Super Mario Brothers Happy Meal Figures by McDonald's. I really do hope you enjoyed this and I really appreciate your support. Don't send me any money. I don't have any Patreon. So if you could, please just hit that like, hit that subscribe, and maybe share. If you can check out, maybe click this video, or maybe even click whatever that is right here. What is that? How did it get here? Bye.